So this is Udain. We got security right here. It's kind of hard to imagine people actually living like this. It's also to raise awareness that a quick swab of the mouth can help save a life. It takes a vast army to prepare 1,200 turkeys. Now, if you look at this production line, it's something that Henry Ford would be proud of. You may have seen jets like this only in movies or video games, but we'll show you some of the advanced features and technology that's being tested right here at Edwards Air Force Base. Safety features like this backup camera are becoming increasingly popular. You get paid to taste ice cream. Yes, people get paid to taste ice cream. Right. It's a pretty awesome job. I think we're in the wrong line of work there, Grant. <laughs> At today's event, there is no million dollar grand prize for the winner. Drivers come out to this event because they love the sport. <laughs> so it's your Price anniversary and you decide we're going to go to the Nut Festival. You got it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the Valley Achievement Center or become a volunteer, visit our website at currentgoldenempire.com and click on the hot link icon. Paul Harris, 17 News. Thanks, they Paul. They were dancing. Great I love story. it. Great story. In a little more than 100 years of flight, we have come from the Wright brothers to the future of aviation. That future is now a reality in the form of the F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. But without support structures from current steel fabrication, this jet would never get off the ground. It's already got him targeted in the body. With its touchscreen displays, some might say flying the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter might be like flying a giant iPad. In the area of government contracts, the F-35 is big business. Each fighter is expected to cost $115 million per jet until production ramps up, where the cost could come down to $75 million per jet. Back in 2005, we were a little overweight on our Stovall variant, the F-35B, and we actually had to go back and redesign it, and that took a, a couple years and some extra funding. Even though the cost is high and at 14 years, production is taking nearly seven years longer than the F-16, Congressman David Valadeo thinks the fighter is worth it. At the end of the day, our number one priority is keeping our citizens safe. And to make sure that we do that right, we have to make sure the equipment is done right. If it takes longer than uh, expected, if it's done right, that's the most important thing. The congressman tried out the cockpit simulator Wednesday morning at Kern Steel Fabrication. The plant provides support structures so the jets can be built in places like Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, for us, in terms of dollars, we have been involved with the F-35 project since 2009, and uh, it's brought in about $10 million to us in work. Kern County is playing a major role in the maturation process of the jet, as Edwards Air Force Base is a testing ground. But Wednesday's event was also a chance for the media to get a feel for the aircraft as well. What is it about this aircraft that gives it such an advantage? The stealth. Stealth and the ability for computers to process information faster than the enemy, putting real-time information in the visor of the helmet or on touch screens. What makes this display important is you that's you, that uh, blue airplane. Those are two enemy airplanes. And those are some surface air missile sites. Uh, I ask, where's that information coming from? Or well, as a pilot, you don't care. It can be coming from your aircraft, your wingmans, AWACS, whoever can data link information into your cockpit. So it takes a lot of that workload off of the pilot. It is often said of air combat, he who shoots first wins. I'm going to see the enemy aircraft well before he sees me, identify him, get in weapon range, shoot and kill him before he even knows I'm there. Curtain Steel Fabrication says about 100 employees work on projects geared towards the F-35. The F-35 program is now some $159 billion over its initial budget, according to government estimates. The U.S. government is scheduled to buy the first of more than 2,400 F-35s in 2015. Paul Harris, 17 News. When people talk about retirement, you often hear about a nice piece of land or someplace quiet to live out the golden years. What you don't hear often is braving all types of weather to teach the public about elephant seals. The picturesque scenery of California's coast is one of the main attractions of our state. Just a little over four miles north of Hearst Castle, lying in the golden hue of the sun, is one of the largest herds of elephant seals in North America. These quirky mammals have brought two friends from Shafter to spend their golden years of retirement together. Both are former school teachers who met in church in the 1980s. Just great people, you know. He's, 
George Larson, a Marine captain during Vietnam and retired Shafter High School history teacher, has been with an organization called Friends of the Elephant Seal since 2004. The organization is a nonprofit and volunteers called docents or out of the bluffs 365 days a year in all types of weather. We can have days out here when the wind is, is blowing at, at 35, 40 miles an hour. Uh, if you want to add some rain to that, it can be really miserable. When Jim Seiler, a former kindergarten teacher from the Richland School District in Shafter, heard what his friend George was doing, he knew he had to be a part of it. Totally amazing and awesome to be over here because you're talking to people from all over the world. But Seiler is just as happy when he gets recognized by a former student and her grandmother. I wonder if Mr. Seiler's going to be here today. Yeah, I hope he, he is, is here. He's the first here guy he I saw. The elephant seals are only on land for a few months out of the year, primarily to give birth, then to mate again. They don't eat much while on land because they're able to live off their stored blubber. When they are in the water, male elephant seals will travel as far as the Aleutian Islands near Alaska to feed on squid, small sharks, and fish, often diving to the depths of 1,000 to 3,000 feet. The best times to see the elephant seals on the beach are during the months of January and February. But there is one day in particular when the seals are at their highest numbers. The peak of our birthing season was actually February 14th, Valentine's Day. Now how nice can that be? <laughs> the elephant seals are protected under federal law and volunteers say an adult male can reach speeds up to 24 miles per hour. You don't want to get too close because if you did, they can inflict some serious damage. Before we got the, the railing set up here, uh, people could walk down on the beach. One man thought it would be a good photo opportunity to place his 10-year-old daughter on a female seal. The alpha male took exception to that, and fortunately he attacked the man and not the little girl. Uh, it severely injured the, the man and they had to get the emergency helicopter uh, from San Luis Obispo out here to get him to the hospital in time. The man would survive, and Larson says that most people are very respectful of the mammals. The best part of the job, Larson says, is interacting with people, especially when he sees a child's face light up after learning something new. In one month, he'll be 300 pounds. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, whoa, he certainly will be. They'll come out with, wow, you know, and that's really rewarding. You know, if we can get that, wow, uh, that's the most rewarding part of it all. The colony has grown from about 20 elephant seals in 1990 to roughly 20,000 today. If you'd like to learn more about the organization Friends of the Elephant Seal, visit our website at kerngoldenempire.com and click on the hot link icon. Paul Harris, 17 News. All right, good story. If you vacation in the Central Coast during the summer, the beach can be packed full of sun worshipers. If you happen to go during January or February, you'll meet up with about 2,000 elephant seals. 17's Paul Harris learns everything you'd ever want to know about the ocean-going seals. And these guys teach anyone who listen about the beauty of these exceptional animals. Elephant Seals of the Central Coast. Tuesday on 17 News at 5.